brakes on this 68 Impala with this kit that has no instructions. So let's pull the wheel off. Okay, now we got the wheel and the drum off. Now we got to take all the shoes off and then your bearing. That's gonna come off. Okay, now we gotta do is take this off, these two bolts here, and this whole thing will come off. I skipped a lot of step-by-step -step instructions because I believe probably most all you guys know how to take off what I just took off. Okay, she's ready to come off. Loosen your brake line, pull this off. That's off, these two off. Notice these two bolts, one is longer than the other. Longer here, shorter here, that's going to be important here with this in. Okay, all that's off. This kit I got will work with your original spindle. So, this is one of the parts came with it. This is where the holes are, so we're going to put this up here. Okay, that's in with that bolt. Now this is where it gets tricky. This piece that came with it is going to go on the back side of that with the spacers. And I had to put the lock washer on this side because it went, there's not enough room on the back. So now go ahead and line this piece back up with that. Put these two bolts in. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it's done. Got this bracket, these bolts, and here, you can see that or not, see those spacers, those are the smaller spacers, and the bigger spacers, this one here, had the smaller spacer, let's see if I can get the light down here. Yeah, so you got your bolt going through here, then you got a spacer here, and you got your bolt on the end of that. This side here, you got the longer spacers, so you can have your two bolts through here, your two spacers, two lock washers and nuts. And now we're ready to put the calipers on. Okay, make sure this end is up where the bleeding goes, uh, valve, it's up at top. Okay, now to hook up your fluid hose, you got the bolt, there's a copper washer, you got the tube, and another copper washer. Now to tighten that down. Okay, rotors on. The bearings that came with the kit and the seals didn't work on my spindle because they were too small, so I went down and got some new ones for the original one, and they all work good. So everything's ready for the calipers now. Okay, calipers on. We got our two bolts in here. All we gotta do now is this one here, that one there. Just tighten them down, torque them good. Okay, now here's the hose line to it. We're gonna hook it up to there. This piece came with it. So this will go on the hose, and then we'll put it up in there and tighten it up to that, and then put the lock back in. Okay, and there it is. Everything nice and tight. Got the lock in there. No leaks. Now let's blue the brakes. Okay, and there's the complete unit. Uh, brakes all bled. Good to go. Put the wheels back on. Take it for a test drive.